Hello, my name is Scott Fisk, and welcome to this tutorial on Responsive Dreamweaver Creative Cloud. And this is a real basic tutorial. It's going to be short and sweet and just cover uh, some basic terminology. So let's get started. I'm in Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to File, New. At this point, we have, uh, it should default to this on your screen, and I'm going to click on Fluid Grid Layout over here on the side, Fluid Grid Layout. And this pulls up our new document, Fluid Grid options, responsive grid, same thing. We have mobile, tablet, and desktop options. Uh, note that, that each one has a different size pixel count, and that pixel count right there represents the width of the web page. Uh, this right here is the percentage uh, of, the, of the screen width for the particular device. So on a desktop, we're going to have a little bit of margin on the left and right. Uh, same here and here. Uh, these numbers in the middle just represent the columns, and we're, we're creating an HTML5 document. I'm going to hit create. At this point, it's wanting me to name the style sheet file. You can name this anything you want, such as style sheet test. I am in my uh, website folder when I'm doing this. Hitting save. This is, this is where, where we really get started and where the fun happens. So it has created a responsive sort of framework for me to work within. Uh, let me talk briefly about these files. Actually, I'm going to save this first. I'm just going to say save as, and now it's letting me name the HTML file, which is always a good thing to do. And I'm just going to call this test uh, and hit save. And it's, it's not just saving that file. It's actually saving all of these files. Uh, so this is now called test.html. We have the source code for this file. We have the boilerplate CSS, which makes the responsive stuff work. Within the boilerplate, if I scroll down here, you're going to see that there's uh, lots of lots of great fancy fancy code that makes this work, uh, such as the media query type stuff. What a media query does is it says if this page is under a certain size, switch over to a different view, and it changes the the way that that web page is perceived, changes the styles in essence. Next, we have a style sheet. This is just a standard style sheet file that we. Uh, we created or named when we started this process. And we have a JavaScript file, a .js file, which makes the uh, makes all the magic happen when it comes to responsive stuff. So here we are. Uh, it is defaulted to opening up the, if you look in the lower right-hand corner, the mobile size. This is my, no, my mobile screen in essence. And then we have a tablet view, and then we have a desktop view. Each one of these things, uh, these layouts can be sort of tweaked. So uh, it gives you the possibility to make each one unique. So when someone views it, they can have a unique viewing perspective. And uh, we're going to talk about that here in just a second. First thing we're going to do, insert an image. So I'm going to remove, and, and this, is, this is worth making note of. Right here, the big box is called the container. Uh, by default, if I click on that, it highlights this text over here. Notice it says grid container right there, grid container. So they've created our container, which holds the entire web page, which is great. That's a, that's a good first step. But they've also put another div in here that we don't really need. So I'm going to get rid of that one, just deleting it. We still have the container. And one of those tricky things about Dreamweaver, you always need to keep track of where your cursor is at. So I'm putting my cursor in that container. I'm hitting enter just so I can open up the container to make sure that I can get my cursor in there to insert other stuff. So what I'm going to do next is just insert my, my div. And a div is just a box that can hold things, organize your web page. So I'm inserting the div. And I'm going to call this call1. So I'm creating a two-column. Uh, I'm going to create a two-column uh, structure here. And this is the key thing that, that is really, really, really great, is we can insert it as a fluid element. So I'm hitting OK. And now uh, we have this box in here. We can move it around. I can move it up by hitting enter or delete, move it up and down within the, the main container area. And I'm going to get rid of that text in there and insert an image. When I insert this image, insert image image, that image is now responsive because it's within that box, and that box is going to force it down in size as needed. So we're going to preview this. I'm going to the globe. I'm going to say preview in Firefox, hit save. And here is my file. And what's nice about this is uh, it's, you know, that's the standard size and it shrinks as needed. So 
There's like basically my iPhone or phone, mobile device preview, tablet, and then full screen. And it stops when it gets really large because that's just as big as the picture is. The picture is not any bigger than that. And that's one of those things you want to keep in mind when you're working with responsive grids is if your grid's really big on the, on the uh, desktop view, then you're going to need some big images to work with, large images. Okay, so I'm going to erase that picture out of Dreamweaver now. What I'm going to do next is just create a second uh, div tag. And again, be real careful where the cursor's at. I'm clicking in this box, and I'm going to sort of uh, you know, click behind it here. I, I don't really need to be in that one. I need to be right behind it. So I'm, I'm being very careful where I click, and I'm clicking right, right behind this. And I'm going to insert another div. And this is going to be called call. Two. Now I have two columns, and this is uh, this is really exciting because we can control these columns to do different things on different types of devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this two different columns. I'm just going to drag this column so it's a little bit smaller. That's call one. I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. And to get these columns to be beside each other, I could click on the second column. And it's going to pull up those options again. And it says move up a row. So I'm just going to click on move up a row. And there they are. Now we've got a two column grid for our desktop display. But if I go down to my tablet size or down to my mobile size, you'll see that it's still one column. And that's much better because, you know, when somebody's big fingers are on that tiny little phone, a single column that's larger is much easier to click. Yet you can have multiple columns in the uh, in the desktop view. Well, thank you again for joining me. That concludes this particular uh, lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about how to break up uh, the the structure for a standard responsive web page design, such as the header, uh, the sort of body area or section area, plus the footer. Thanks again. Bye bye.